I can't stop eating. <laughs> magic spoon. <laughs> Dub just said, oh, you got the magic spoon cereal out. I am currently eating the cinnamon roll, which is so delicious. It tastes like cinnamon toast from your childhood. Um, but magic spoon is high protein, low carb, low sugar, uh, grain free and gluten free. Their packaging is so cute. It reminds me of when we were little, the color and the uh, design of them. Uh, that's the cinnamon roll. I have the fruity, the peanut butter right now, and the honey nut. They are all so delicious. I not only eat uh, Magic Spoon as cereal in the morning, but Deb and I take it for treats or we sit down and have it as dessert to tie it to. <laughs> she does. Uh, it doesn't give me that crash in the morning like normal sugary cereal does. Magic Spoon also has a 100% uh, happiness guarantee. So if for any reason you don't like this, you will get your money refunded. No questions asked. I grabbed my link and my code and I'm going to put it here. Tap through it. Use Deb and D for $5 off. I would highly suggest doing the build your own uh, variety box and then you can just try all of the flavors. Do you like that? Do you? You don't have anything I don't. <laughs> There's a real good look. Twisted Silver, I love, 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 love their jewelry. And they just sent me a bracelet. Deb's gonna model it for you. I'm getting my code, because I know that I have a code for them. So if you want to look cute, like my wife, this is the way to go. Now, it, it looks not so good on me because it doesn't follow my fashion sense, but her, yes. This is what it looks like. It's like this big, chunky brass, big, chunky brass chain. And then it has this type of a clasp. I don't even know what that's It called. is heavy duty. It's like a nice, it's nice really, chain. It's really, really pretty. Um, it's brass. I just want to make sure that I knew what I was talking about here. But it's got this kind of a clasp and it has a little bit of silver in one of their tags and the gold. I love it. I want to run out and see what Deb's doing here in one second. I think she's working on those garden boxes. Um, but I wanted to remind you that I still have a code for StoryWorth. Actually, it's a link. It will auto apply. StoryWorth is the company that makes perfect Father's Day gifts, father-in-law, uh, basically anyone, but I'm just saying Father's Day because that's coming up, but anyone. I love StoryWorth. I always say that I wish my grandma were still around because she would get this as a gift from me. Um, the recipient gets an email that's a question, and the questions range from what was your first car, what was your first job, like just history. And then at the end of the year, you will get a uh, beautifully bound book with that history that your recipient has answered. I love that idea so much. I'm going to put my link here for $10 off. I love this song. have made these these are two by 12 so basically they're almost I'm, um two foot tall i think i want to put a little ledge on them so you can sit oh that would be nice and then this is going to be the one with those big panels that she made the vine that we can put uh, mm -hmm. vining plants like cucumbers or um zucchinis or full beans or whatever so that's what this is for. So she wondered how wide I wanted it, and I think this will work perfect. Don't you? We have to go see how much room we have before we make it. Let's go. Much. Let's go see. We're going to go out to the garden and see how much room. This up. This is going to be four foot walkway to walk through it. Yes. And these boxes will be on the outside of the four foot. Yes. To grow up. So I just need to make sure that we have, if you want these two foot. <laughs>
We're pausing cooking because Deb said this is a puzzle piece and I need to try to figure out how it went. Well, you ate one, didn't you? Did you eat that little piece? It goes together. You're positive. Somehow, some way. Come on. Did you flip it upside down? You got it right. Like that? No, I did not flip it upside down. You're lying. Mm -mm. <laughs> Does anybody see this? Normally, I, normally I'm good at this, but I guess I suck at puzzles. Can I do it? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Dad bought this the other day, the light. So we're gonna have a little margarita. The cheers. So I cut up some broccoli and cauliflower and I'm gonna add it to this. I'm gonna put it in my always pan in the steamer and I'll show you because it makes the absolute most perfect steamed vegetables. All time favorite way to eat broccoli and cauliflower steamed is just put a tiny bit of water in here. Then the always pan comes with this steamer and then I put it on here, put the lid on for like less than five minutes. In this always pan, it takes about five minutes, four to five minutes, and I don't like to do it too long because I still like them kind of crunchy. We uh, figured out what we were going to do here. I'm going to get a range insert and then I'm going to have the crew, the framing crew, frame a large. I could not, I don't know why my phone keeps doing that. It like flashes. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, we figured out the size and the box itself up here is going to be 60 inches. I have a picture that I will share next that is kind of like my inspiration picture, but it's gonna be 60 inches, and then I'm gonna have those cabinets on each side. And um, Deb and I are going to finish that box, so we're just gonna have them frame and drywall it, and then my inspiration picture will say more. You'll be able to understand what I'm trying to say. So what I'm trying to say is, and I guess I should say uh, a summary of what I'm trying to say is they are going to frame it, drywall it, and then Deb and I are gonna finish that hood and figure out where we want this. So we'll finish this whole part right here. Also, we talked about the guy who we are getting the uh, stairway from, the railing, the risers, and the treads, and we broke the news to him that it's all white, all everything. Don't forget the little things in life that make you happy. Um, probably 12 to 18 inches tall, and they are way bigger around. We are at the point now we're going to have to get tomato cages. So I told Deb we got to deal with that here in the next couple of days. The cabbage is looking really good if you have been around for any length of time every year we plant cabbage actually last year we did not but deb's um deb's baby daddy is what i call it brought us a bunch of cabbage from his garden and we ended up um making sauerkraut we make sauerkraut almost every year so normally it's from our own cabbage but last year it was from his I've had a couple people ask what we were going to do with all of these tomatoes so we normally plant extra we eat lots of tomatoes and we also can them so we make salsa 
We make um, spaghetti sauce. We can tomato juice, um, tomato soup. And I have lots of recipes on my site that I will link in these stories. So delicious. Those are the green beans that we planted from seed. And then these are the beets. I need to thin these out, but I'm gonna wait until they get a little bit bigger. And then I wanted to show you this because I saw this today. These are the spaghetti squash. They actually have blooms, which usually means there's going to be fruit. That one has them and this. And I'm so excited because I've never planted these before. Neither has Deb.